So if you're new to incubating eggs, hopefully this second short clip of five about our Optum Eco Incubators will give you the information you need about the initial setup of these machines. Now remember, we're talking about two models. One is the Octagon 20 Eco and the other is the Octagon 40 Eco. The Octagon 40 is very similar to two Octagon 20s joined together but it's more economical to purchase compared to buying two separate Octagon 20s. So firstly, take your Octagon Eco out of its box. Always keep the box somewhere safe. If you want to have it serviced or need a repair to your machine in the future, it's best to send it back in its original box. You get some important instructions in the box. Make sure you read them. Um, so let's just show you what it looks like on the Octagon 40 Eco when it comes to you. That's what it'll look like. Um, I'm going to concentrate on the Octagon 20 Eco simply because it's uh, a bit smaller and easier to demonstrate. So we'll put this one to one side, but it's exactly the same for the Octagon 40 as it is for the Octagon 20 Eco. Okay, so when you open your box, what you'll get out of it initially are the various components and uh, importantly, uh, your instruction manual. Right, make sure you read those instructions. Uh, you also, on the bottom of your instructions, get a space here to write the serial number of your machine, so for reference for later. Um, that serial number is available on the side of the box. It's also available on the lid of your machine where the cable connects to that lid just inside here. And you might just see a little white label in there. Okay. Um, the other thing you get with your instructions is a reminder to register your details, including the serial number we just talked about, on the Brincy website for your three year warranty. So make sure you register your warranty because it is it is pretty unique to uh, Brincy to offer three years guarantee. Right, so let's look at what you get when you open your machine, your box up. You'll have a lid, as we just described. You'll have a base. Okay. Lid and base. You'll have a cable to connect it to the mains. You'll have a tray, an egg tray with dividers. You can place, as we'll show you later, dividers go into the egg tray to create compartments for your eggs. You'll get a little cover for the lid of the Octagon 20 or 40. And once you've attached the cable and once you've checked the temperature is fine. So we'll leave that to one side for a moment, a little screw to, to, to uh, attach the, the cover to the lid. If you go for um, automatic turning with your Octagon Eco, whether it's the 40 or the 20, if you go for automatic turning, you will also get a cradle. That cradle comes as two ends. two bars to connect the two ends and four little screws to fix the bars to the ends. What we don't give you, which you will need, is a Phillips screwdriver and what you may at some point want to use uh, once you've checked your temperature, which we'll talk about in a minute, is a little two millimeter flat bladed screwdriver. And if I come in close, you'll see what I mean. Very small Phillips screw, uh, flat bladed screwdriver, two millimeter. Good, okay. So we're gonna set the machine up. What we're gonna do is to set our octagon up in a room which doesn't have wide temperature variations. Ideally, we want to choose a room where temperature remains between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade. We 
don't want to allow the temperature in the room to drop below 15 degrees centigrade, which can happen on a cold night, especially if you keep your machine in a shed, right? Uh, also, always keep your incubator away from direct sunlight. For example, don't put it in front of a kitchen window. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the mains lead. So that goes into the end here where the serial number was. It's going to connect the mains into that pops in like that. It's a nice firm fix. Okay. And I'm going to plug it in to the mains. You can probably hear that's already started uh, warming up. The fans have started turning. Okay. So the temperature on the Octagon 20 and the Octagon 40 is controlled electronically. There is a special glass thermometer on the underside of the lid, so you can monitor temperature. You can monitor accurately within a narrow range of incubation temperatures, because it is a special thermometer for the purposes. When you first put the incubator on, apart from hearing the fans going, you'll also see a little red light go on. And that'll go on continuously. And while it's on continuously, it tells you it's still warming up. When your incubator approaches its target temperature, that little red light will start to flash. So, we always recommend that you get your incubator going and leave it for a couple of hours before making any adjustments or placing any eggs in it. Once it's stabilized, yeah, once it's stabilized, check that the temperature on the thermometer, which you can read underneath here, check that the temperature on the thermometer is at 37.5 degrees centigrade, which is the recommended temperature for hen eggs and assuming that that is the temperature you want, but it, we recommend 37.5. Now it may not, when you set it up and you leave it for two years, two, 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 two hours, it may not initially be set to exactly the right temperature, or as mentioned, you may want a different temperature anyway. So if for some reason you want to adjust the temperature, there is a small red spindle small red spindle next to where the power cable goes in. Yeah, um, you can rotate that. And that's where this little flat bladed two millimeter screwdriver comes in. You can rotate that little red spindle um, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Yeah, so um, adjusting that that little screw spindle in there by about a quarter of a turn gives about one degree centigrade change. So if you do decide that you want to change the temperature on your incubator, um, make very small adjustments and, and always wait at least 30 minutes for temperature to stabilize before making any further adjustments. What will happen is if for any reason you actually decide you want to lower the temperature, you might find that the red light will go out while the incubator cools and, th and that's that's quite normal. So once you're happy with the temperature uh, you can fit the cable cover which just protects the electronic connection here so that just goes over here like this. There we go and a little screw comes to the top of it and then we can just screw that in with a little Phillips screwdriver and your lid will now be ready. So remember, if you do for any reason want to adjust the temperature on here, just take the little cap off, two, two millimeter blade screwdriver and adjust the little red spindle that you can see inside there. And it's the same as, as you find on our little mini Eco, same principle. Okay, once you're happy with the temperature and you've put the 
cable cover back on. Um, you've got really temperature set up and the next thing you want to think about is setting the right humidity. So we'll do that in the next clip.